Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Weight King You. I am Joshua Kalet. I'm an actor, performer, and athlete. I started working out when I was a kid. My dad's a bodybuilding enthusiast, so he kind of pushed me to work out early on in life. Now, let's move on to our first topic for today. The three main body types are the three somatotypes. Now, if you aren't aware of these somatotypes, you've probably been training your body in a way that doesn't support your body type. If you're watching this video, you're probably having a hard time getting the results you want to have. Maybe you're overtraining your body a little bit instead of allowing it to do the work it was intended to do. So today, we invited Doc Tyrone together with Coach Justin to give us five pro tips on how to start your fitness journey, explain to us what these body types are and the advantages and disadvantages of each body type. Hey Waking Nation, I'm Coach Justin from Waking Supplements. I used to do bodybuilding, I did it for 5 years, and now I've transitioned to CrossFit. All in all, I've been working out for more than 10 years now. And I'm with our guest for today. Hi, good day uh, Coach. Uh, I'm Dr. Troy Enriquez, I'm orthopedic surgeon. I've been uh, in the fitness industry for 5 years. I've also do, been doing CrossFit, a uh, combination of also bodybuilding and High intensity interval training and uh, been involved in the fitness, been in the fitness journey for about you know I've uh, been involved in three to four years now. So first things first, Waking Nation. There are seven pro tips to keep in mind when starting a fitness journey, and the first one is to know your goal. Um, when I started working out, may alam naman ako simple goal. Actually, madali lang iyatin, and that is to get stronger. Mm -hmm. How about you, Doc? Uh, in my case, uh, I've been uh, on the bigger side before. I'm at about in the 40, 40 to 50 pounds overweight already. And there's already health issues, and there's hypertension, there's poor performance, easy fatigability. So I decided, so I wanted to get fit. That's nice. Yeah, to get fit, to, to be healthy. So okay. that was my goal. I see. So la tayo, when we start working out, nag start talaga tayo sa. Mayroon tayong goal, di ba? Kasi ang hirap naman magsimula ng isang bagay na hindi mo alam kung ano yung end, end goal mo. Mm -hmm. And I believe, when kapag gumagawa ka ng goal, dapat mayroon tayong dalawang goal. Isang long-term goal and isang short-term goal. The short-term goal, yung madali lang siyang i-achieve. Para pag na-achieve mo siya, you feel, you feel mm -hmm. triumphant, di ba? You feel rewarded. Pro tip number two is to set realistic expectations. In Tagalog, dapat yung goal na kaya nating abutin. When I started working out, yung goal ko madali lang. One pound at a time. Gusto ko lang lumakas one pound at a time. How about you, Doc? Uh, tama yun, Coach, no? Uh, set a goal that's something that is attainable, feasible, something that can be done in a day. Like, for example, sinabi mo, short term. Uh, you start with the day na dapat you have to achieve this, you have to do this. And yun nga, if uh, there comes a frustration kasi na pag meron kang something na gusto mong gawin and hindi mo siya nagawa, dun na darating yung mga frustrations. No? So, set a goal that's something that you can do or something that can be done in the day na realistic ba? No? Attainable, feasible, and doable. What can you say in terms of the injuries, pag matanda ka na, oh, medical... Oo, oh, tama yun, coach. It's concern of some of the athletes, mga nagtitrain or go... Some, like, regular Joe na goes to the gym. You have uh, pain or injuries, uh, let's just say, uh, for the, ano, let's just observe first. Take a rest, take a day or two. If the injury still persists, you can train around your injury. Yung mga chronic injuries like back pain, knee pain, train around that. No? So if you have a back pain, do something na medyo hindi involve yung back. If me, do a sitting position, sitting exercises, anything na hindi involved na magkakaroon ng compression or any stress sa knee. So, as someone who's starting out, remember to take it step by step. Mm -hmm. So sabi nga nila, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Pro tip number three is to understand where you are right now. Ano ba yung current situation mo? Do you have problems na kailangan mong i-address? Kailangan mong ayusin? How's your lifestyle? Are you sedentary? Are you active? 
Are you working? Busy ka ba? Ano yung priorities mo? Um, before starting anything, kailangan alam mo din kung ano yung problem mo and kung ano yung kailangan mong ayusin. So, uh, yeah, uh, first is identifying the problem, coach, no? Uh, what is the problem? Do you, you want to get stronger? Do you want to get leaner? Is it a health issue? Do you want to be aesthetically pleasing? And next is your intervention. What, what can you do to, to address your problem, no? So, next is, first of all, ask for professional help. Ask, ask your coaches, ask for nutritionists, ask doctors. Ano bang pwede kong gawin? An anong pwedeng uh, object... Uh, they would help you reach your goal, your objective. So, bottom line is, dapat alam mo talaga kung ano yung problema mo mm -hmm. kasi paano mo siya sosolusyonan if you don't know what the problem is. Mm -hmm. Since we now know our goal, we've set realistic expectations, we already know the problem, now let's jump in to knowing the three different body types. Uh, yes, Coach, no, there are three main body types. There's uh, endomorph, the mesomorph, and the ectomorph. So Doc, what are the difference between the three main body types? Uh, first is the ectomorph, no? They're the long and lean individuals. They have the they're basically the hard gainers, no? Uh, they have the, they have the difficulty basically the difficulty building muscles and patpatin in short in Tagalog, no? And next body type is the mesomorph. The mesomorph are the they are well built. They have a high metabolism and basically they are the athletic type. And the last body type is the endomorph. The endomorph is, has high body fat. No? They, they also have the tendency to store more body fat in their tissues. No? Okay. So now that you already know what your body type is, let's proceed to pro tip number five, which is finding the workout that suits your body type. So first one is the ectomorph. Ectomorph usually sila yung mga patpatin nga, di ba? So hirap sila mag-gain ng muscle. So they need to focus on workouts na makapagbigay sa kanila ng most muscle mass. So, ito yung mga strength training, uh, high intensity training, basta they need to lift weights because weights, ito yung magbibuild ng muscle. Mesomorph, since they are the gifted ones, they can do whatever kind of training they want. So, gusto nila mag-focus sa lifting, pwede. They wanna do cardio, pwede rin. Kasi, they easily build muscle, mababa yung fat nila, hindi sila tabain. So, you're flexible. And the last one is the endomorph. Sila yun naman yung mga tabain. Hirap sila mag-lose ng weight. Um, they need to focus on doing cardio, any workouts that burns a lot of calories. And kaya nga, cardio. I think cardio is the workout na talagang alas mo mag-build ng calories. Pero, notion ng mga beginners na pag mataba sila or eh, mabigat sila, hindi dapat sila mag-lift ng weights. Kailangan din natin mag-build ng muscle kasi the more muscles you have, mas lumalaki yung engine mo, mas lumalaki din yung calories na nabuburn mo. So, I believe, kailangan parehas. They need to do both. Mm -hmm. Pero syempre, Coach, it's really important na do a workout with something that you enjoy, something that you can commit on, something that you think is possible that you can do. Basically, what based on your lifestyle. Kumbaga. Pro tip number six is knowing the suitable diet for your body type. So first, uh, since the ectomorph, sila yung hard gainers, no? So basically, you have to have a calorie surplus, kumbaga. You, eat, you need to eat more than you burn. Uh, next naman is mesomorph. Again, they're flexible, no? Anything they, they can consume, they can consume as long as the food that they take is in, just enough for them to recover from their training. And lastly, yung endomorph, well, if we have this calorie surplus from the ectomorph, it's the opposite of the endomorph. Calorie Should, deficit. Yeah, calorie deficit. You should be uh, eating less than what you burn. So that, you burn mo yung, like again, you store more body fat. So you burn mo yung fat, it would be used as, as, as an energy during your workout. So, parang ano pala, no? Pag endomorph katabain ka, parang kotse, mm -hmm. di ba? Kailangan mas konti yung gasolina na pinapakarga mo sa tinatravel. Mm -hmm. Parang gano'n. Pro tip number seven is knowing the recommended supplements for your body type. Ectomorph, since you guys, kailangan nyo ng calorie surplus para sa inyong mass gainers, creatine, para mas malakas tayo when we're lifting. Endomorph, since tayo naman yung mga biga, mabigat, uh, ma mahirap tayo magpapayat, para sa atin yung mga lean protein, um, fat burners, BCAA, since mababa yung calories nila. 
Mesomorph, since you guys are flexible, you can take pretty much anything. Anything na gusto mong itry. Tama, Coach, no? In the ectomorph, it's really important. Again, yung, you need a calorie surplus. Then, then again, you discuss with uh, using creatine. Creatine kasi, there's a study that claims that it produces more, exerts more power, no? If you take creatine, there's a cycle in biochemistry that says that creatine is helpful para mas lalo makalift ang heavier yung mga ectomorph natin ng mga uh, clients, no? And again, yung ano, so for the endomorph, they need to calorie deficit, calorie deficit. No? so they have to take uh, lean whey and again yung, you have to burn more than what you consume so basically ang very helpful talaga mga fat burners, burners. Natin, no? and again yung mga mesomorph natin yan yung mga gifted so any supplements will do as long as they can recover from their training but keep in mind that uh, this body types can be combination of two or in between two body types so that it's, it is important to identify so that we could uh, train eat and supplement ourselves accordingly so that's it for today what do you think are you an ectomorph endomorph or a mesomorph comment down below the great thing is that no matter what body type you have by sticking to a healthier diet a healthier workout regimen you're on your way to a healthier you that's it for today guys now that you know which body type you fall under ask yourself have I been reaching for unattainable or unrealistic goals? If so, it's time for you to start understanding and getting to know your body better and set new goals so you're working with your body and not against it. We are all different and sexy in our own ways. There's no one like you and that's a good thing. You can get fit, lose weight, and change your shape with the right exercise and nutrition. You know, it's not necessary to spend up to two hours in the gym you just have to simply pinpoint your body type and implement a nutrition and exercise plan that reflects an endomorph, ectomorph, mesomorph, or any combination of the three. Now, if you have any questions or clarifications that you want to ask, make sure to include them at the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you think this video has been very helpful. And if you haven't done yet, please hit that subscribe button and notification button so you'll get notified real time on the following videos that we do. We'll see you on our next video.